Hey guys, um, we're playing Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Just doing, we're doing uh, the main zombies map. Right now you can play Nuketown Zombies, uh, but that's limited time only. So we're playing this zombies map, which is the only one currently, besides Nuketown. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna play through it, see how far we get. I don't think I'm going to go for the evacuation, because in this, you can evacuate. Um, and also in this, you get to, see, you get to make your own custom loadout. So, they're still buying guns and mystery boxes and stuff, but you start off with your own custom gun. So, I haven't bought a single gun yet, or used a mystery box, because I always have that. And the story part of it, is you can get through it really quick. You'll see. Um, You've got a green light, Strike Team. Happy hunting. Let's get moving, people. Recon the site, eliminate all hostiles. Yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty easy. It's easy for like the first five to six levels and then past that it gets a bit harder and once you get the power on regardless of what level you're at so it's gonna be um, hard whatever happened here is the cause of the dimensional breaches all over the world the undead that's correct dr gray let's get the team inside Yeah, for the beginning, we're basically just running around shooting all the zombies. Can't really do much until you get the power on. Like I said earlier, the the story part of it is like insanely fast. You basically turn on the power, and then there's like two other things you got to do after that, and then you're done the story. And so on round 11, you can do the evac, which basically ends the story mission, and you like, uh, just leave, uh, like you finish the game, if you beat that mission. But it's, like, pretty hard. I've done, I've attempted it three times, and only completed it once. So for this, I think we'll just do the story part, and then just, uh, go until we die. That's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, this is the first time, first game where you can, you know, evac, so. It was originally meant for just staying as long, as long, uh, sorry about that. Live as long as you can. Now we're up here. Yeah, let's kill some more zombies. And in case you're wondering why I'm doing zombies first before campaign and everything, that's because I didn't actually buy Cold War. I'm saving that for whenever I get the PS5, which will be next time it comes available on Amazon. Uh, hopefully, as long as I get it. Which I'm hoping, I mean, I'm hoping there's enough for everyone next time. Um, yeah. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh yeah, also, I don't know if they did this in other zombie games, but uh, zombies can climb. I 
And this is actually only the second time I've played zombies in a game. The only other game I've played COD zombies in was World War II. Actually, that's not true. I did play it in uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare 2. But, I mean, I didn't really like it that much. Here we go. Continue on. Keep it on, keep it on. And there's also like crafting tables around the map too that you can get. Like there's one down here and you can you can actually get like m multiplayer kill streaks in this one in the support area. It's pretty hard to like unlock them, but yeah. And then you can craft grenades. Anyway, I think we might have enough to get the power up, but we might need No, we got enough. We'll be able to get the power on. Once you get the power on, then it's a dog round. As soon as you get the power on, and then it's... And then it's a dog round every couple rounds after that. Oh my god. Make sure the power is going to stay on, so we don't got to reopen that door. I've had that happen to me once before. Ammo. Yeah, I've been, I've been playing zombies the past two days. Getting ready for the video. The reason I don't have Cold War yet, but I'm playing zombies, is because zombies is on a free trial right now. So if you own Modern Warfare, you can download Cold War and uh, test out zombies. I'm pretty sure it ends tomorrow, which is 21st January. In case you guys are looking forward. Here's Dog Round. I hate Dog Round.
There is three on me. Okie dokie. Go through the portal. Get to the other dimension. Okay, so this is the other dimension. So, we just gotta go through here. Right now we're building, if you guys have played zombies before, right now we're building the Pack-a-Punch machine. And then once you finish building the Pack-a-Punch machine, you're basically done the story part. Aside from doing the exfil mission, which we're not gonna do. Because it's fairly hard whenever you're playing by yourself, which I am. There we go. It's gonna take us back to normal. I got signal lock on. We're back in business. What happened? Satellite malfunction? Systems are showing unidentifiable residue, which suggests that. Oh dear. You didn't go through the portal, did you? Oh, I haven't seen fog on here before. Not a giant fan of it, if I'm to be honest. Okay, I'm gonna grab some ammo, head back down, pack a puncher gun. If you guys don't know what pack a punch is, um, it's basically you just like upgrade your gun with the points. There we go. In case you guys didn't know, C4 is a really good grenade in this. Because whenever the big guys get there, you can throw it down and blow them up. And then it's 15k for that. We don't really need the fast, uh... We don't really need the fast revive, since... We don't have to revive anyone but ourselves, and we only get one chance at that, so...
think we have quite a bit of followers. If only that was the way it was on Twitch, eh? By the way, if you guys didn't know, I do have a Twitch channel. Lately, I've been streaming uh, Warzone on there, if you guys want to go check me out. It is... Uh, channel's name is the same as YouTube. Mikado09. Well, let's go start collecting some perks, shall we? Sounds amazing. Big boys here. Throwing C4. Arming C4. That's what you like the C4 for. Like they all went the other way. Ah, <clears throat> oh. I'm sad that missed. Ooh, we need ammo, pretty bad too. Excuse me, zombies. Just gonna squeeze right by. down here and ammo you may have noticed that since we pack a punched it costs quite a bit more for ammo and that is because oh no we are gonna die here oh that was close now let's go invisible for a second He's going to split in half. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Who's ready to play die to a thousand zombies? Oh, that was some sick dodging. You gotta like and sub for that, guys. You have to. What's this? Yeah, that's the one we already got. You know what? Maybe we will do the exfil, because I could probably sit here till round 15, which would be way too long for a video. So, we're, we're about to die, or we're about to escape with our lives. Requesting immediate exfil. Put in the comments right now, what do you guys think will happen? I have a feeling we're just gonna die. Yeah, with this thing too, it puts all the zombies in the area of which you need to be at.
Basically, what we gotta do is just kill all these guys. Oh, shit. Yep, that happened. Well, we failed the extraction. I accidentally put myself in a corner while I was being chased by a good 30 zombies. Maybe more. Anyway, that's basically the gist of Cold War Zombies. So you can either, on round 11, you can either take the helicopter out. You don't even have to do the full like story mission, like turn on the power and everything. You can just do that whenever you get to round 11. Or you can, um, you can like wait and like try to upgrade your guns more if you want to. And if you choose to do that, then it'll come again every five rounds after. So around 16, 21. The highest round I've ever gotten to was, I think, 16. But, uh, yeah, that's basically the gist of Cold War Zombies. And a lot of the COD guys, I see they show what all the stuff is. So, for, like, their guns. So here's what I have for each thing. Oh, I didn't put a barrel on. What is the barrel I had? I normally have on that one. Uh, yeah. Forgot to put the barrel on, but they basically work the same thing. What is this here? Magazine. Kapir joins an additional inverted magazine. No, like, we're gonna keep the 50 round mag. It's pretty good. So yeah, that's basically, uh, class. Uh, I was using the Aether Shroud Tier 2 for the field upgrade. That allows me to go invisible for 8 seconds, because I'm on Tier 2. Uh, anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Follow my Twitch. It's McCarter09. Follow my TikTok. It's also McCarter09. And see you next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.